Hey, what's up folks? My name is Trail, better known as Budget Bill, and today I have another stimulus update video for you. Today we're going to talk about a new stimulus package bill that is expected to be signed today. So this could mean that stimulus checks are getting ready to rumble. Well, well, not really rumble, but maybe perhaps being printed. That's our topic. But before we get started, if this is your first time to the channel, hey, welcome and glad to have you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can be a part of it. Also, be sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps the channel grow. And if you want an opportunity to get two free stocks worth up to $1,400, all you have to do is download the Webull investing app using the link down below. The stock market has been going up every day and it's about to make a new all time high. So why not get a couple of free stocks that are risk free by simply signing up. Now, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. What's up folks and thanks for sticking around. So today is August the 17th and this is your second stimulus check update. Well, 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 over the weekend, there was some controversy over the United States Postal Service getting defunded by the White House administration. Apparently, there were some concerns about allowing the November election voting to be done by mail in which the United States Postal Service would be responsible for the delivery. Well, President Trump believes that the ability to vote by mail opens the door to extensive amount of voter fraud. Even though there is no evidence to back this claim up, Trump decided to defund the United States Postal Service in an attempt to prevent the option to vote by mail. So while White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows was on the CNN State of the Union show on Sunday, Jake Taper decided to ask Mark Meadows about the claim from President Trump regarding the voter fraud. Jake told Mark that there is no evidence of any widespread voter fraud. And in normal fashion, Mark Meadows was able to deflect that statement by saying that there is no evidence that there's not any fraud either. Classic statement. That's like saying, Budget Bill, we believe you stole those DVDs last week at Target. But I didn't even go to Target. But there's no evidence that you didn't steal it either. What the hell? <laughs> But anyways, moving on. During the same interview with Jake Taper, Mark Meadows stated that they are ready to pass a bill on Monday. He specifically stated that let's go ahead and get stimulus checks out to Americans. He went on to say that they are ready to cut the second stimulus checks, provide money for the PPP program, support the liability protection for small businesses, and provide some additional funding for the post office. And then he said, we'll pass it tomorrow meaning today on Monday. And Mark also went on to say that the president will sign it as well. And then he left it at that. So does this mean that President Trump is going to pull another executive order today in order to get these four things in a bill and signed immediately? Or does it mean that they are planning on meeting with Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and making a compromise with them in order to get something created and signed today? Well, so far we really don't know, but I will say that this is some great news because more and more it appears that they are getting closer to something being done in the short term and stimulus checks can be mailed out to Americans. For example, notice how far for the past two weekends it appears that they are really working hard. Well, some of them, considering most of them are on recess break right now. But last week, the four executive orders were signed by President Trump. And this week, Mark Meadows is working and telling CNN viewers that they are ready to sign a bill as early as today. And to go along with that, we have Nancy Pelosi state in an interview with Dana Bash from CNN that she is already already come down from asking for $3 trillion to $2 trillion and hopes that the Republicans can go up by $1 trillion in order to meet in the middle. She said that regardless of receiving the lower amount than anticipated, she is still going to focus on those things that are important for helping the Americans that are hurting the most right now. 
She also went on to continue to blame the Republicans for their stalemate in negotiations over the, another round of stimulus relief funding for Americans. She stated that the progress on the negotiations is complicated by the complete disarray of the Republican side. And President Trump continues to contradict his own negotiator's position as well as his own position. Basically saying that Mr. Trump continues to flip flop on the things that come out of his mouth. So we will have to stay tuned on Monday to see how this plays out. I'm sure that the top negotiators should be meeting around 11 ish Eastern time today. So I will keep you guys updated as things progress. But tell me this guys, would you rather them get a smaller bill passed now that limits the Democrats on what they can do? Or would you rather them continue to fight it out for the maximum amount of $3 trillion package? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. I would love to get your take on this. Other than that, hey, this has been my stimulus news updates for today. If you enjoy these stimulus update news videos, please give this video a like as it definitely helps out the growth of this channel. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload new videos. Again, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.